I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question from previous IITJ test paper. The question here is a multiple choice question. You are given four choices and we are also given limit of a function which exists. Limit x approaches 0 for cos x minus 1 times cos x minus e to the power of x divided by x to the power of n exists and it is equals to L. Find n for the above limit to exist. So we have to find in the denominator you find x to the power of n. We have to find the value of n. Four choices are given uh, for n. So you can do the needful to get to the answer. Now the method which I am going to adopt here oh, will use a lot of strategies. Uh, so we, we can actually, I uh, will discuss the strategies first and then put everything on this sheet to get you to the solution. Uh, how to write cos x minus 1? Let's look into this part first. So we know what is uh, cos 2x in terms of sine, right? So let me do it like this. Uh, we know cos 2x could be written as 1 minus 2 sine square x. Now, <clears throat> if I rearrange and I want cos x minus 1, so I could write this as cos 2x minus 1 equals to minus 2 sine square x. And uh, if I convert to half angle, I could write this as cos theta minus 1 is minus 2 sine square theta. So I could always write cos x minus 1 as minus 2 sine square theta. Correct? That's one part. Now second thing which I want to share with you is how to expand cos x and e to the power of x uh, in terms of x, right? So uh, the expansion formula for cos x is 1 minus x squared over 2 factorial plus x to the power of 4 over 4 factorial minus x to the power of 6 over 6 factorial plus so on, right? That is for cosine x. You have to remember some of these series to answer questions like that. And e to the power of x, as most of you know, can be written as 1 plus x plus x squared by 2 factorial plus x cubed by 3 factorial, right? So these are the expressions which can replace cos x and e to the power of x. As you can see, when we take away one from the other, one and one will cancel. We get all the terms in terms of x and we can always factor this out, cancel one of the x and uh, sine square theta by theta is 1 theta square, right? So we'll use those strategies to find the possible value of n. So I hope with this you get all the concepts, right? Now you can actually pause the video, answer the question, and then uh, look into my suggestions. So, okay, so we'll begin by writing what we just explained. Uh, we have limit x approaching 0. So the first step is we will write cos x minus 1 in half angle formula in sine. So it is minus 2 sine square x by 2. Correct? So that is the first term. The second term here is cos x, which could be written as 1 minus x square by 2 factorial plus x to the power of 4, all even terms here, 4 factorial and so on right so so minus so on and then for e to the power of x we can say 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial plus so on correct so so let's close this bracket so we could always write them as these infinite series divided by so let me divide everything by x so okay let me write this as times 1 over x to the power of n okay so divide by x to the power of n i'm trying to save some space here 
since I want to do it in this half page. Okay. So most of the strategies are known to you. Uh, this portion, we want to write this as uh, sine x by 2 over x by 2, correct? Uh, so that's the whole idea. So we could write this as, uh, let me keep 2 as such, and then we have sine square x by 2. So if I want, uh, I have to get x squared by 4, correct? I have to get x squared by 4. So let me write down uh, x squared by 4. To get this 4, I can actually multiply by 4 here. So I'm multiplying and dividing by 4 to get this 4. And the, the x squared part, so the, we had n, x to the power of n, so I'm writing this as x to the power of n minus 2. Does it make sense to you? So I'm writing this as x to the power of n minus 2. So I've taken two powers here as x squared. Okay, now let's see the numerator part. 1 minus 1 is 0, and then we have a minus x. Let me write down minus x here. We have x squared, both will be negative, so we get minus 2. 2x squared by 2 factorial. Okay, then we have this term with cube, which is minus x cube over 3 factorial. And let's say so on, right? So, so we have all these terms, and let's say something, something, okay, and so on. I'm leaving this part since x approaches 0, they will become 0. So concentrate here. So we will now uh, write this as limit x approaches 0. So we have negative 2 over 4, which could be written as, as half, right? Negative half. So it is negative half times. Uh, now we could write this as sine x by 2 over x by 2 whole square. So we're taking care of all this. Now in this series, we could take negative x common, right? So let me take negative x common. So what do you get? You get 1 here, right? So 1 plus uh, 2 times x over 2 factorial. I'm not cancelling it. It's okay. Then plus x squared by 3 factorial plus so on. So it could become minus, but let's keep it. Okay. More terms. Anyway. <coughs> divided by x to the power of n minus 2. So, okay, let me write down here now. Divided by x to the power of n minus 2. Now, since we have this negative, it makes that as positive. So, we have limit x approaches 0. So, this becomes positive. So, we have half here. Okay. Limit of this is 1. So, now we can forget about this. And what we get here is... 1 plus 2x over 2 factorial plus x square over 3 factorial plus so on by divided by and divided by now one of these x's cancel since because of this x correct right? because of this one of them cancel so i could write this as x to the power of n minus 3 does make sense to you correct now we are saying that this limit exists this limit exists. Now, how can the limit exist? The only condition, you know, is that if n equals to 3, then we have x to the power of 0. So we say if n equals to 3, that x to the power of n minus 3 will be x to the power of 3 minus 3, which is, which is 1, correct? Then, we go substitute these at 0 and the limit will exist. Perfect. And the limit will be half in this particular case. Is that okay? The answer from the multiple choices, therefore, is n equals to 3. So I hope uh, it's slightly complicated, but with these steps, you do get the answer. And the answer will be C, which is n equals to 3. So I'd like you to go through this video once again and understand how we have broken down each and every part and uh, simplified the expression to get the answer. Right? So the questions could be very tricky at times. 
So take your time to digest all this uh, and we'll take quite a few questions from previous test papers of IIT uh, to expose you to what is expected there. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope you appreciate and like what we have done here. Feel free to share your comments and views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'll be very good for me thank you and all the best